today on Divorce Court. I'm here because I'm sick of the mind games with Jeremiah. She knows she has a smile, she flaunts it. He's insecure about everything. He's always accusing me of talking to other men. I wanna find out if my girlfriend is cheating or not. I'm pregnant and I know Jeremiah is the father. We took a DNA test to find out whether I'm the father or not. Jeremiah has these mood swings and it can turn on and off. She does things that piss me off. If he changes, his actions and take responsibility and stop with all the nonsense, then me and Jeremiah can go forward. If Brandy could change her ways, I could see myself staying with her forever. But if not, I'm leaving, I'm going. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Brandy Welch and Jeremiah Johnson, the two of you. Uh, have been together for two years. Uh, you are thinking about getting married, but it ran into a couple of stumbling blocks, so you've come to me for my opinion as to whether or not you should wed. I had you take my compatibility test. You gave me your license with permission to tear it up. Should I think your union is ill-advised? Ms. Welch, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me why we're here today? Well, Judge, we're here because um, we have issues as far as with accusations. Um, Jeremiah accuses me a lot of flirting with other men, of um, touchy-feely. Mm -hmm. He gets angry and shuts down and, I mean, completely locks me out. For example, we went to Vegas. Mm -hmm. We had a good time in Vegas, okay, up until that last day. Right. We were going ziplining mm -hmm. and Jeremiah just completely shut down. Well, I'm like, you know, what's going on, babe? What's wrong? Why are you, you know, acting like this? We supposed to be having fun. Not saying nothing. And then, <laughs> and then he left out, walked out, I'm ready to go, bye. So when I came down, um, I actually caught up with him. And you know, I'm still asking him, what's wrong, Jeremiah, what's wrong, babe? Just let me know, like, what's going on? And he's just totally ignoring me, not saying nothing. Did he ever tell you what the problem was? When we got to the airport. Oh, and that's a whole nother story. I was staring <laughs> at men on a strip. Yeah, oh, you're staring at men. I said, we're on a strip and I'm not staring, you know, I'm at eye level with these people. Right. Sometimes you have no choice but to look. Right. You know, so... Mr. Johnson, why don't you tell me your version of that event? What, what no, do you say No, we was happened? kind of pressed for time. It was also, our money situation wasn't there. And it's just, like, she was spending X amount of dollars. It was on... there. No, 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 no. Go ahead. No, we only had a certain amount of money to spend and she blew through everything today. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Stop. That particular day. So, is that what you were angry about when the zip line thing happened? No, she was being flirtatious with guys. She was saying, how you doing, to guys walking up and down the strip, which I found to be disrespectful, very disrespectful. I mean, you you were walking side by side. I was walking side by side. Sometimes I was behind her, but she was. Be I could tell she was being flirtatious. And, and would she initiate conversation, or if somebody said something, would she speak back? How did that yeah, work? Yeah, actually, you know, I actually had to catch a cab back to the hotel, and the cab actually went past. She was actually standing on the corner. I actually seen her talking to another guy with her cousin. And I asked her, well, who was that? She was like, oh, that wasn't nobody. This, that, and the third, and hey. But why do you think it was something flirtatious? I mean, what, 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 what about that is She sexual? couldn't even tell me what they was talking about. Nothing. It wasn't my conversation to tell him what they were talking about. It wasn't with me. Give me your best evidence of flirtatious or inappropriate conduct with the, with the opposite gender. Flirtatious uh, text messages. G give me social an media. Because I'm trying to get my arms around. Social it. media is a whole nother story. Let me tell you, okay? He wait, gave wait, me an wait, ultimatum to delete my Facebook, to deactivate it. He gave me an ultimatum. Said, "Hey, if we're gonna be together, you gotta get rid of your Facebook." Where what, does what, that you? become no, an ultimatum in a relationship? Is, I don't to be no, no, no. It what? is. No, hey, 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 hey. What was she saying on social media that you found disrespectful? I found it disrespectful as all these different guys, and she don't know none of them, but she's friends with them. But what does she say to them? How many kids do you have? Are you in a relationship? What do you do? Different <laughs> things of that nature. So getting to know you, acquaintance kind of conversations. Yes. Trying one that she, to get ones to know that me. she could have with a woman or a man, but you just don't like the ones she has that, with men. That's both, that's both ways, because I think she's bisexual. <laughs> That really? Yeah. No, the problem is men and women hits on me, you know? So uh, he accuses me of being well, let bisexual. Me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. In his defense, do you entertain any of that on there? No. Do you no. shut him down? Yes, I do. That's not true. 
Anytime you sit up there asking how many kids you got, what do you do for a living? That's not showing somebody. Down. That's them asking me. But no, what that's is my you response? Them. I never did. But do you did. find that do you find that sexual and nature inappropriate? I, don't I, I understand. find it to be like a little bit flirtatious because if I do it, she asks me, "Oh, well, who is this? How do you know them?" She does the same thing to me. He, you know, like I got a question though. You and I, we over here. You waiting for one thing, I'm waiting for another thing. You sitting there, I'm sitting there, say, hey, how you doing? What are you doing? I say, hey, what do you do for a living? She doesn't I'm do this and that. You know what I mean? I would do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a different story when you're actually touching somebody and laughing. But you can't be touching them on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. See, <laughs> Mr. Johnson, let me tell you where you're gonna run into trouble in here. You're a subject switcher. Mm -hmm. When someone presses you mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the validity of your statement, you move to a different subject. Not far from where you are, but just enough so you can get off of where you are mm -hmm. and deny the lack of logic in your statement. This is mm -hmm. So our you are a too. subject shifter. So you need to know that whenever you're met with, with undeniable logic, you move. Mm -hmm. So you move in the direction of not trusting her, not even when the logic indicates that you ought to. But when you're receiving messages three, four o'clock in the morning and she just saying they're friends, that's no, more like a booty I party, never man. told him they were friends. This is social media. Guys look at your picture, oh, she pretty, I'ma try her. You know, I'ma try to see if she'll go. She you actually know? got guys and that come to her house, ring her doorbell, and it's like she don't... That's a lie. It's the truth. I wanna know where the seed of infidelity was sown. So I'm gonna go at it in a different direction. What's the most suspect thing she's done since you've been together? It's one particular time she sent out 10 text messages to her ex. To her ex? Yeah. He said that they slept together. And he was lying, trying to yeah. pee okay, him and off. And you believe him over her? You said she's promiscuous. Now, does that mean you've caught her in infidelities? Is that her reputation in the town? Or simply is that a belief as a function of flirtatious and, 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 and sexy behavior? I think it's more like a belief. It's when she drinks, right now we're dealing with Brandy. Right. But when she drinks, it's Miss Welch. It's Miss Welch? Yes. And what does Miss Welch do? A freak. Okay, define her freak nature. I like to do different things in the bedroom. Okay. With you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he should be happy. But she also talks about her past relationships, how she was offered threesomes and... I, I got it, I got it. I, th I think I know where you, where, where you come from. Ms. Welch, have you had a, a fun, raucous past? I have. And he had. knows about it, no. either through you or someone else. When I was single, I mingled, you know? Right. But that don't mean I slept with everyone in the town. I just, did I, I say that? My fun. I did not say you that. Know? I'm just no. saying, you, not but, at all. But, but you were free. Yeah. You were happy right. and you were raucous and he exactly. knows. So that, 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 that sowed a seed of insecurity that if you want to, to be his wife, you've got to deal with that insecurity right. in a certain way, shape, or form. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what I'm saying? But Jeremiah also has other things um, going on with him. Like, he doesn't support me. Tell me um, about that. Which way? I'm, Please do. Let me talk. He doesn't support me. For example, we went, my grandmother had passed away. Um, my family was having a balloon release for her over the water. Right. He was invited. So, you know, Jeremiah comes along, but he brings his moody attitude with him. So, and this is a special day for my grandmother sure. passing. So I'm like, you know, what's going on? Me trying to cater to his feelings again. What's going on, Jeremiah? How you feeling? You know, what's the problem? Oh, nothing, I'm fine. He's not, you know, he's trying to walk away from me. You know, and remind you, my family is around. Right, right. We get back, you know, do the balloon release, get back in the car, and he goes into accusations again um, from what he found from Facebook and social media and emails, trying to connect them to Facebook. Like, I don't know, he's playing Inspector Gadget, you know, trying mm -hmm. to figure out this dude, who is this dude? He texts you, hey, good morning. Remind you, I don't know him from a can of pain, okay? These are guys who try their luck on Facebook, mm -hmm. you know? I don't respond. Is this, a, it, this seems to be a recurring theme. Is Always. it something that you argue about constantly? Yes, because I feel like she erases things out of her phone. 
That's not old true. Old text messages, old emails. That's like, not true. What's the most suspect thing she's done since you've been together? It's one particular time she sent out 10 text messages. When I asked her about it, she didn't know, she didn't have a clue what I was talking about. 10 text messages to the same person or 10 text to a group of 10 to people? To her ex. To her ex? Yeah. So now, do we have a specific individual with whom we have a difficulty here? Um, yes, and I have no ties to him. I block all ties with him. You know, he knows I'm in a relationship, but he still tries his luck, right. you know, every... And I don't initiate no conversation with him. I don't email him, text him, ha Have Facebook you given him, him a strong check? I just recently told him, I said, listen, stop texting me. I'm happy. I moved on. We can't be friends. You don't need to check up on me no, and try to see how called, things going. He actually going. called one day when we were sitting in the car together, and I actually was, I actually started talking to him. He said that they slept together. And he was lying, mm -hmm. trying to yeah. oh, pee and, him and off. And you believe him over her? Yes. Because we was fighting around that time. See, see that? OK. Let, let, Mr. Johnson, I'm going to ask you a little bit about your past and see if I can find out <laughs> where all this came from. I understand that you're pregnant. Right. And you have some issues about paternity. I think it's her ex. You think it's her ex's baby? Wow. Well, I have the results here. And it can determine with certainty whether or not you're the father of the child. Now, are you going to tell him, or am I? I'm going to tell him. Tell me what? If your fiancé demanded, would you cut off all communication with an ex? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. Johnson, have you been cheated on before? Yes, ma'am. Was it a significant relationship and a, and a tough cheat? Yeah, I did, I did take it pretty hard. Yeah. I did. Do you think at all, I just take a moment before you respond to this, it might color your vision with respect to future relationships. I feel like I do bring that into this relationship. Uh huh. Still, it's just like the messaging, the texting, the flirtatiousness. You know, if you got on purple glasses, everything you see will be purple. <laughs> I think you got on purple glasses. I really, really do. And I, I and I'm, I'm sorry about that because mm -hmm. I think you're a good dude. He is. I think you're a good dude with skewed vision. Mm -hmm. You got a good woman, and you can't get over the possibility that she might hurt you. You know, jealousy is an exercise in making yourself miserable. You're going to be upset and angry and looking every day on the off chance that one day she might hurt you. So you're going to have 364 days of discomfort and anger and angst mm -hmm. if, in fact, she might do something on the 365th. Why yeah. don't you just enjoy the day? I and if, to. And if, and, and if one day she ups and, you know, she's doing a mad rumpy bumpy with some other dude, bounce, you don't have to wonder, you don't have to guess, you know what's up. Judge, and then you just go. Wonder. He never had to wonder. Because you know I've what been I, with but him I, 100%. But I can't talk to another female without her jumping down my throat. So it's like, it's... It's, his, it's the his, same thing. His emotions is projected on me a lot of the times. Like, because he accuses me so much and plays with my emotions and think they are a joke, I get the feeling that maybe he's the one cheating. You know, why are you always no, accusing me? No, she goes me? to my phone, too. Why are right, you yeah, always yeah. accusing I, 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 me? I think part of this is, 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 is a function of this social media obsessed world that allows so much contact. People say sexual things. They send, you wouldn't believe, <laughs> I have people go through my inbox for me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so I don't have to see what I get sent. <laughs> you know what I mean? She said, it's clear, and then I can go in, because she's taking all that wrong stuff out. <laughs> you know, from all, I mean, all over the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Judge. To, but, 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 but let me say this. I understand that you're pregnant, I and am. you have some issues about paternity. I think it's her ex. You think it's her ex's baby? Wow. Yes, well, there is a new procedure that allows us to determine the paternity of a child in utero. And we have had access to that procedure. And you gave us a sample, did you not? Yes. 
And we took care of that, so I'm going to be able to answer that question for you. What would you do to convince a suspicious partner that you aren't cheating? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I have the results here. And it can determine with certainty whether or not you're the father of the child. Now, are you going to tell him or am I? I'm going to tell him. Well, well, tell him. You are not the father. Oh. Tell him why. Because there is no baby. You know why? Tell me why. Tell no, 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 you know me why. You know, you tell know what? Why. Judge, because he plays with my emotions too much. He drags out lies, tell me he's cheated, and I'm the one stuck with the emotions. I'm the one being taken for a joke, and my emotions are being played with. Now he see how it feels to be lied to when it's not true. Now, you see what I got to go through? This is what I got to go through. But this is what I've been dealing with from you. So how does it feel? How does we it done. feel? We over with. We over with? We over with. I don't understand the reasoning. Neither do I. I, I don't understand. You, you, you come in all before your vows. I think you love mm. this man. You want this man to commit to you. You're mad that he's jealous all the time. And you tell a huge, whopping, hulking, ginormous lie. For what purpose? I just wanted him to see how I feel for once. I've been going through emotions. I want him to feel how I feel, you know? So play, and I love him, but, attack. you know, uh, how much can I prove to him that I'm not cheating on him? How much can I prove to him that I'm loyal to him, that I want to be with him? That if things would change, I would marry this man. How much can I prove he's leaving me no choice but to say, forget it? Mm -hmm. You know, you go your way, I go my way. Here's the sad thing about all of this. I think you're two good people, and I don't think either one of you are doing anything to the other one. I think you've got... What she got just did wasn't good, though. Oh, it, was, it was horrifying. But you got into the process of, he hurt me, he hurt me with that, so I'm going to hurt him and hurt him with that. Then you became a fool <laughs> and decided, well, he's hurting me, so let me hurt him. I think it's two good people doing bad stuff to one another so a good thing can never result. I'm, I, I'm sad for you. I think it's unfortunate. And, and I ask this for you, Mr. Johnson, because I know you finished. But before you get into a relationship with somebody else, I want you to go see somebody about where your head is, your state of mind. Take a peek inside and see if you're not weak somewhere because of an insecurity. That's all I'm saying. See what else that's all? Because I think you're a good dude who could do good things with a good woman, but I don't want it messed up by what one bad woman did to you sometime before. And everybody believes I, they're I over I think it. I know what the problem is. What's the problem? I got another girl pregnant at my other job. What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm too deep in the gutter to get out. <laughs> I think you could have made it at one point, but you two got so busy getting at each other. This is where this we is where you. No, 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 no. I'm all done with you. You know, I'm, I got my man at home 30 years. I ain't, I, you know, I ain't got to live in the city. <laughs> I wish you the best. I hope things get better. I hope you don't live in this kind of washing machine. Be done, baby. Yeah. Be absolutely and utterly yeah. done. Mm. Clearly. That's it for me. This is not happening. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. After listening to Judge Lynn, I feel like Jeremiah brought out the worst in me. Through accusations and everything, and to turn around and find out he was doing it, it's just a disaster. And what can I say? I felt like she was messing around on me, so hey, I started messing around on her. I don't have no regrets on losing or this whole relationship. I'm done. <laughs>